Hello everyone, this story is called Egg Goes Quack. It was a beautiful day in Foodland. Dr Pepper was in the park, sitting on a bench, enjoying his lunch. He was just about to tuck into his jam sandwich when he saw Milk on the playing field. Milk was practising his magic tricks. Now we all know that Milk loved his magic, but the big problem was that something always went wrong when he did it. Hello Milk, smiled the doc. Got your magic tricks out again I see. You look like you're having fun. Yes, I am, he replied happily. I love magic. So what are we making disappear today? Giggled Dr Pepper. Well, actually, I've just bought a book of magic spells. I thought I'd try them out. Oh, good luck with them, said the doc. Now, I must be getting back to the surgery. I'll have patients waiting. Dr Pepper quickly finished his jam sandwich and returned to the salt shaker surgery. As for milk, he sat down and began to read his new book of magic spells. Soon, lots of Milk's friends arrived to play a game of basketball on the hard court. Hello, Milk, smiled Egg nicely. Fancy a game of basketball with us, he asked. No, thank you. I've got some magic spells to conjure up. Oh, that sounds like fun. Happy reading. And with that, Egg joined the others in the basketball game. Milk turned to the first magic spell in his book, the magical make-a-wish spell. It says all I've got to do is close my eyes, tap the book three times with my magic wand and make a wish. Then it'll come true. Milk had a good think about what he should wish for. I know, he smiled. I'll wish for a duck for Egg. He loves feeding ducks. So Milk closed his eyes and tapped the book three times with his wand. Then swoosh, whoosh, flash, pop, pop, boom. And as if by magic, a duck appeared. Amazing, thought Milk. Milk went to find Egg and the others on the basketball court. But when he got there, everyone had gone home for their tea. So he was left holding the duck. Ah, uh, never mind, thought Milk. I'll put you by the pond. Then Milk took his book of magic spells home. What a good day, he thought to himself. I did a magic spell and nothing went wrong. He went to sleep feeling very pleased with himself. The next morning, Egg woke up feeling a bit odd. He stretched out his arms and looked in the bathroom mirror. Quack, quack, quack. What was that? He gasped. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Suddenly, Egg found that he couldn't stop himself from quacking. He sounded like a duck. It was now starting to move like a duck. Oh no! Help! Quack! Egg quacked all the way to school. He quacked at the bus stop, waiting for the, the school bus to arrive. Then he quacked on the bus all the way into Mr. Mash's classroom. Egg's friends couldn't help laughing. Sir! Sir! Why is Egg quacking like a duck? asked Sausage. Yes, Egg! Why are you quacking like a duck? asked Mr. Mash. Quack! 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 went Egg. He couldn't sit still and waddled his way to the school pond, where he jumped in and started swimming. Quack, quack, quack. Oh dear, said Mr. Mash. We need Dr. Pepper. Sausage and beans, can you tell Mr. Soup to contact the surgery? It's a matter of importance. Bok, 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 said Sausage. Cock, doo said Beans. Oh no, said Mr. Mash. What is happening here? Soon, all of his students were making animal noises. Pea, Sprout and Parsnip were mooing like cows. Spud started to woof like a dog, and cheese and onion began to oink like pigs. Chocolate bread and sandwich went bah like a flock of sheep. And as for carrot, he started to roar like a lion. Mr. Mash quickly dashed to Mr. Soup's office. Please excuse me, Mr. Soup, he said, but we have a big problem. All of our students have started making animal noises, and I can't make them stop. Oh dear, this is an emergency, he said. I'll call for Dr. Pepper straight away. Over at the salt shaker surgery, Dr. Pepper had just finished with his latest patient when the telephone rang. Hello, he said. Dr. Pepper speaking. Yes, hello, Doc. It's Mr. Soup and Mr. Mash here from Hot Dog High. We have an emergency. All of our students are going quack, moo, ba, quack, moo, ba, cock a doodle doo. Dr. Pepper tried not to laugh. I'll be right with you, he said. This sounds like a big problem. The Doc arrived and Mr. Mash showed him to his classroom. We had managed to huddle together his students. All apart from Egg, that is. He was still quacking like a duck on the school pond. Dr Pepper examined all of the students. What time did this all begin, he asked. First thing this morning, Doc. Egg was the first one. He came into the class quacking like a duck. Oh dear, replied Dr Pepper, still trying not to laugh. Then Dr Pepper had a good think. I know, he grinned, and he made a quick phone call. Hello, Milk. It's Dr Pepper here. Can you please come to the school? I think you could be the solution to our problems. Uh, okay, Doc, replied Milk. He's feeling a little bit confused. Soon, Milk arrived at the school. He was carrying his book of magic spells. 
Ah, good, said Dr. Pepper. I think all of your students were accidentally hypnotized by magic milk. Milk? Did you cast one of your spells either today or yesterday? Asked the doc. Uh, yes, I did yesterday. I wish for a duck for egg. Ah, now you must have completed the spell incorrectly, as egg woke up quacking this morning. Oh dear, said Milk. I'm very sorry. I'll use a reversing spell. And Milk tapped the magic hat three times and wished for all his friends to stop making animal noises. Swoosh! Whoosh! Flash! Pop! Pop! Boom! It worked! Amazing, said Milk. Meow! Went Dr. Pepper. Ha <laughs> ha! And that is the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time.